Buzik versus uh, Daniel Dubois versus Uzek, whatever his name is. I've got to get my opinion. I watched, uh, I watched a really bad uh, uh, replay of it. Couldn't really see much. I watched the uh, replay of the um, low blow quite a few times. I saw the referee was very close to a low blow and he straight away classed it as a low blow. Um, difference is, uh, was he robbed? Was that a low blow? Well, I don't know. Always um, think it's in the area of controversy. Is that the right word? Big word for me. You know, if he was, um, if he hit him, you know, in the, you know, under the solar plexus or under the rib cage, you know, there'd be no doubt it would have been counted straight away. But because he got, because it was in that sort of disputed area, he sort of uh, allowed room for uh, conversation. <laughs> anyway, um, the end of the day is what it is like, you know, you got to remember that if you're U U Uzek, whatever his name is, Uzek, Uzi, then um, you'd notice the referee's not counting you. The referee's going to give you time to recover, so you're going to take that time to recover. So, it's a hard hard one to, uh, it's a hard one to, to judge because it's all basically down to the referee. If the referee said, you're not going to have a count when you feel better, you know, stand up, you're going to take that time. Well, my personal opinion is when you're fighting the champion, you have to destroy the champion. Like, you have to completely annihilate him, make him look, make him look bad to take the belts. I don't think it's enough just to beat a champion, you know, by, well, you know, by a few points or something. And he did knock him out in the later rounds. Was it eight and nine or whatever it was? So, um, was he robbed? <sighs> it's the thing about the boxing world, man. It's, it's just one man versus one man and one referee. Um, if that was me, uh, fighting Uzik. I mean, okay, at the end of the day, I think if he had a rematch, um, take the low blow away, he won in round eight and nine. So, I think, um, I think the other geezer should be happy that, you know, he gave him a good fight and knocked him down in his head. And, he, you know, when he's telling his grandchildren later on, you know, you know, 20, 30, 40 years from now, you can say he knocked down the world champion, it was disputed. But I think if he had a rematch, personally, if he had a rematch, I think he, he would be annihilated. I don't think he was skillful enough to um, overthrow the champion. I remember when Lennox Lewis fought that, fought that person, he, and he, uh, he, he lost. He had his hands down, it was in South Africa, from what I remember, or Africa or somewhere in Africa. And he, and he lost, and the bloke just, I think he caught him with a really, well, what could be described as a lucky punch, or also it could be described as uh, underestimating your opponent from Lennox Lewis. But then when he had the rematch, he destroyed him. Um, so, that's my take on it. I think Uzek won, well he did win, he knocked him down in round eight and nine. And um, I don't think the other, his opponent had the had what it takes to take those belts off him. Had it just been a normal, regular fight, then between two boxes, it may be a little bit different, but when you're, when you're fighting for the world championship title and all those belts, I think you have to annihilate and destroy your opponent. Not just sort of try and pinch it by a point here and a point there. He was rounds behind. He was stronger. He was, he was stronger. He was skillful. 
I haven't really watched a very good version of the fight on the replay. But from what I've seen, he he dominated the fight, and there was just that low blow, the inverted commas low blow, which is up for discussion, which makes it interesting. Maybe we'll get a rematch out of it. Maybe make a lot more money out of it because of this. Who knows? I'm sure they're going to rinse it for what it's worth, business-wise.